Hello friends, I'm George, the nice medic gentleman. Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope that all of you are doing good. Now when it comes to uh, Middle Eastern, big Middle Eastern fragrance houses, one of the most recognizable name of course is the brand of Armaf. And they have quite a lot of uh, fragrances in their huge portfolio. But they also have uh, quite a few fragrances that are not so well known in the community. And so for today I've prepared a list of 8 fragrances from Armaf that are not so well known and I think deserve more love. The first fragrance that I've prepared for you in this video is called Armaf Marjan Red. Now the red bottle might mislead you into thinking that this uh, is a feminine scent but the reality is that uh, this is marketed by Armaf as a unisex scent and in my opinion leans towards the masculine side. Now this is not a direct clone of anything but uh, it's the usual Armaf stuff of taking a few different DNAs, uh, you know, mixing them together and coming up with a final result. This fragrance, uh, at least to my nose, carries uh, sort of a similar DNA to a YSL a Lome, the original Lome and also YSL Lanoid de Lome. You get some of that fruity sweetness from uh, the original Lome and you also get some of that spicy cardamom and uh, nice woody dry down that you get with uh, Lanoid de Lome. You also get some amber sweetness, some uh, tonka bean powderness. Uh, oh, you know, it's uh, actually a very nice scent. Uh, with very decent performance and projection and for some reason i don't know why this thing has a very very low score on fragrantica but uh, if you like the uh, you know the sense of uh, the original uh, loam and uh, YSL Lanoid de Lom. This is definitely worthy of checking out. Armaf Marjan Red. The second fragrance that I've prepared for you in this video is one of the newest members of the Armaf Odyssey line and it's called Odyssey Wild One Gold Edition. Now unlike the first one uh, that I showed you, this thing is a straight up clone and this actually is a clone of uh, the original Dior Sauvage EDT. A very very good quality clone of Savage EDT. I'm a sucker for that DNA and so I really like uh, Odyssey Wild One. I also like the art design uh, on the bottle itself. Uh, it has very decent performance, very decent project projection. It's highly versatile like the original scent uh, and uh, also it's dirty dirty cheap. The second fragrance in this video, the Armaf Odyssey Wild One Gold Edition. The third fragrance that I've prepared for you is probably a little bit more known compared to all the others, but I st still think uh, it's good enough and it deserves quite a lot more love than it actually gets, more credit than it actually gets. And it's called Radical Brown. This thing is uh, again not a direct clone of anything, but uh, it's pretty similar to something like uh, Parfum de Marlis Herald. Also quite uh, close to uh, Lo Medial from Guerlain. You got that nice, sweet, uh, warm uh, type of a scent profile. That's great for, uh, you know, cold weather. There's amber, there's vanilla, there's uh, some freshness. You got the tobacco note in here. Uh, some cinnamon as well. Spicy, sweet, uh, tobacco-y scent uh, that's very warm, as I said. And it's great for cold weather, especially for winter nights, in my opinion. Performance here is uh, nothing to write home about, but still it's decent. Projection is also decent uh, and uh, all in all, I really, really like the whole scent DNA and I like Armaf Radical Brown and I think it deserves more love. Armaf Radical Brown. The fourth fragrance is called Signature Night from Armaf. Now from what I've gathered, uh, you know, uh, over the internet, this thing is quite an old release uh, from Armaf, uh, but for some reason for quite a long time this was missing from the markets. But recently, you know, at the end of last year and, uh, you know, early this year, it, it started to pop up uh, back at some, uh, you know, discounters, some sellers. Uh, and this thing is uh, a very interesting alternative to Bulgari's Men in Black. It can also serve as an alternative to the original Spice Bomb as well. That should tell you enough. Uh, you know, here again you have some tobacco, you have some spices, you have some vanilla sweetness. Uh, it lacks a bit of the sweetness compared to the original uh, Bulgari Men in Black, but definitely carries uh, a lot of the same DNA. And uh, I absolutely love this scent, uh, you know, scent profile. I love the original Bulgari Men in Black. And the nice thing also is that you get a magnetic cap. The, fifth, the fourth fragrance in this video, the Armaf Signature Night. The fifth fragrance in this video is called Armaf Niche Oud. Now this is uh, my newest uh, Armaf fragrance, uh, you know, in my collection. Uh, again, not a 
direct clone of anything but uh, a very similar scent profile to uh, Serge Luton's uh, Ambre Sultan. Get uh, a very very in fact actually the sprayer of this thing is really nice. Uh, the scent profile here is very spicy especially in the opening of this fragrance you know the first uh, half an hour up to an hour this thing is quite spicy the dry down is woody you get some ambery sweetness uh, and the name should not mislead you you know the name wood should not mislead you because there's no wood in this fragrance actually it's a quite another very warm and spicy uh, you know scent that's uh, really great for cold weather again one of the you know not so it's not a new release from our mouth uh, and uh, i think uh, it's uh, decent enough that people should talk more about it the fifth fragrance in this in this video armaf niche oud the sixth fragrance uh, is called armaf legacy and this thing is a clone of uh, chanel's platinum egoist now it lacks a bit of that uh, sort of a metallic sharpness that you get out of a platinum egoist but uh, other than that it's actually quite quite close to the original scent uh, an absolutely hateful uh, bottle design it has a magnetic cap that is pretty useless uh, also it's very hard to actually spray this fragrance to hold it but the scent profile in here is actually very very uh, you know enjoyable surprisingly good carries a bit of an old school vibe to it uh, you know got lavender got rosemary you got uh, quite a lot of spices and woods on the dry down it's fresh uh, really manly and has sort of a barber shoppy vibe to it uh, a little bit more old school the scent profile has a little bit of an age factor in my opinion but actually as i said it's surprising surprisingly good the quality and also the performance as well the sixth fragrance in this video the armaf legacy the seventh one that i'm going to show you is actually not a sprayable fragrance this is a perfume oil and it's called club de Nuit intense man perfume oil a very interesting uh, release from armaf uh, not, not too many people know about the existence of this thing but uh, this uh, contains no alcohol, it's non-sprayable, you get this sort of an, uh, way to apply the fragrance uh, onto your skin directly. And uh, this is like a more fruity, more citrusy, more fresh take on Creed Aventus DNA and on, also on the DNA of uh, all the Club Genui Intense Men fragrances. On its own, it's very nice, uh, very long lasting on skin, doesn't project very hard, but uh, the main uh, usage for this thing i think is for layering you can layer this with any of the club de Nuit intense men fragrances uh, and uh, you can pretty much go all all out beast mode with it because on its own it has great performance when it's layered uh, with uh, any other fragrance uh, it has even better performance or also you can uh, layer this with any other fragrance that layers well with a fruity citrusy scent the seventh fragrance in this video, the Club de Nuit Intense Man Perfume Oil. And for number eight, I'm going to cheat a little bit because technically this is uh, not an Arma fragrance. It's from a brand called Oros Pure. But a lot of uh, places that sell this actually sell it under the name of Arma Oros Pure. You can think of it as the high-end uh, Armaf uh, type of fragrances, uh, something like the Latafa Pride line or Latafa Niche line. The fragrance, the you know, the brand is called Oros Pure, and the fragrance is called Leather Gold. This is an absolutely fantastic clone of Louis Vuitton's Ombre Nomad, almost a one-to-one -one, uh, clone of the uh, copy of the original scent. I really love this one. Um, you know, you get that. Uh, raspberry in the opening you got that leather wood and rose combo on the dry down with a nice amount of uh, ambery sweetness uh, to go with that as well super high quality scent uh, with fantastic performance and projection and as i said it's an absolutely fantastic take on the original dna very nice presentation very heavy bottle and you also supposedly get a swarovski real swarovski crystal uh, you know incorporated into the cap of this fragrance the eighth uh, Arma fragrance uh, in this uh, video, the Oros Pure Leather Gold. And so guys, in today's video, I showed you technically seven Arma fragrances plus one additional fragrance that it's sold under the same umbrella of uh, Sterling perfumes that uh, are not so well known in the community and in my opinion, deserve some more love. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you did, give it a like. And I also hope that you're going to join me in my next video. And until then, stay safe and bye-bye.